here are some best practice for extending images as well as we take a look to my actions I created. First of all, I want to give you an overview about my actions. You can load my actions when you downloaded them in the actions panel, in the menu of the actions panel. You go to the panel and then you say load actions. Actually, the actions work either if you are using the German version of Photoshop or the English version, just to let you know. Then I created a group of actions. When you download it, you see the group. Then you can open this action group and then you see six actions. And the overview is the AI Gen Expansion Horizontal gives you a row of the 1024 pixel each side in one row six times. So that means, with other words, in about 6,000 pixels in the width. Same as vertical, 6,000 pixel each square of 1024 pixels in a row. And then two times, two times vertical, with other words, you have one row. And then it stops, you replace your frame, and then it goes another way uh, from left to right. Keep that in mind too. And then is an action horizontal with fill check. That means you get a check or a stop between for consideration of the results you get. Because as we know, when you fill a square, the next one is based a bit on the first one. So it sometimes makes sense to have a check which one want to cite to go before you go ahead. This is only one row and one row for vertical. This is how it works. It's also very important, but you get information about that when you run the actions that your basic layer is a, is a rasterized layer, not such like this one that wouldn't work. And it's called Ebene Zero or Ebene Null or Layer Zero. It doesn't matter. It works with both German or English. However, just to give you an, an idea how this the difference is, when I extend this picture, regardless of the resolution, just in one step, you see the selection here, I selected this one and then said general fill here without just fill it. This is the result. Uh, I made this when I go to this layer, I even made my my selection here. I didn't took the first one. I was more happy with the second one, so I took that. But as we know, this is not high res. If you zoom in, you would see that this is not high res. So this is, but I like the result very much. But look at this. If you don't have this, if you run my actions without having, just without having an idea what it could look like, just, just to fill in, I get this result. This is completely different from what I really want. And you even see the squares. So keep that in mind. So I did the second one. I first did the base, not high res, and on top of that, I just refilled actually what we, I filled before with the square with my I'm running was running my action, so I got this result. So this is a big big difference. So it, it I would say in very complicated ways it makes sense just to give first an idea in the low res version, so just you fill it simply just fill it, and then on top of that you run my action. When you do that, when you just let, let's do that for a, for a second. I'm going to delete these layers and just do that. I take the rectangle tool for this, making a selection. I overlap a bit. Then I took the additional here that it's going to add the selection. I make that like so, and as well as here at the bottom. And let's fill this with the gen fill. We leave it blank and it's going to generate that. Now I take my selection. I think I'm going to go again with the second one. So now when you run my action, there is something you need to know. On top of this, you need to make a stamp up. That means it's just creating a new layer with all what is visible. The shortcut on your, on your keyboard is Control, Shift, Alt and E. Or if you have the Pro panel, you can just click on making a stamp up. That means stamp up or here it's in German. Verschmelzen open. I don't know. That this is a very, a very weird con translation. However, it makes the same. I click it. And I got it again. So I just delete one of those. I don't know then. And now, if you run my action, you need to rename this layer. Either if you run it in German, layer zero, Ebene null, or layer zero. I do that for you that you can see the work is gonna work. 
player zero and then you can run the action so for this i go because i'm just showing the lower part i'm showing just one time vertical uh, horizontal that will be the first um but we have a problem we don't know where to cover so how can we fix that because if we we see that this this part we're gonna do now together we don't know how much where to place the the selection for fill for the again fill so we need to make something how to find out on, on top of that where we place it so how i can do that i just click on that thumbnail with control and click and then i see where the selection is then i drag down a guide to mark where i have to start Control D, deselect, and now I play my action one time horizontal because it's, it's going to fill all the way in one time. I go one time horizontal and play the action. And it always says again, reminds you that you have a layer zero, zero rasterized below. That's what I did already. So I said, go ahead, continue. Then I say stop. Then I need to go to my rectangle selection tool and keep in mind, not this tool here. The move tool, you need to have the rectangle selection tool and not the just the single selection, the one below, then you can move it. You will see it. So we move it down with overlapping the selection and hit play again. And then it's when it will do its job. So if you if you know now think you need a more another row and just want to run the action again you can't do it on that layer now just play what you need to do again you need to do to make a stamp up Control shift alt e rename it layer zero or ebene null and then you can play the action again otherwise it's not going to work here is another scenario you probably want to fill a very complicated part of your image which is not like a sky so it can make sense to make your GANs selection when you fill the empty spaces with your with generative fill to make a selection of your previews first bef before you run the action again. So for that, I created the action, which is called AI Gen Expansion Horizontal with, with Fill Check. So how this is working. If I run the action, let's do that, and I will get a reminder that if I check if my layer is zero, let's check that. I say, let's check and check my layers. If layers, yes, it's layer zero or even and all, doesn't matter. So we can run the action, everything is fine. Let's go back and run the action. And then we say, continue, we checked it, we stop, we move our selection to the place here where we want to fill. Let's then, we restart the action. Then you get an additional stop which allows you to make your selection of this previews of the fills, the three variants you can select off. So it says now, click stop to choose your favorite can fill in the properties panel that's here. And that's what we need to do. If you are already happy, you just see it continue, but let's check first. So I say stop, then I make a check here, what I prefer, which one of these, let's see which one is the best. I think I'm going to go with number two, probably, you know, it's kind of, kind of weird. I'm going to go with number three. Let's take three. Then you go back to the actions panel and just play. Then it will continue doing its job. And after the next fill, you get the same stop. So I check, I want to check first. So I go check the here, which one I like. I think I'm going again with number two. Yeah, probably number one this time. Let's take number one. So I go back to my action panel and say play again and it's continuing doing its job I think I'm fine now I hit play or because it's finished I keep I stop it and we are done actually so in that case if you stop it previously you get this deleting this invisible layers to delete you need to delete them then manually actually because the 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 action is made for six times square, so that's why you need to delete them. Because there is some kind of a bug, you always need, I need to create an action between with an empty layer be below, otherwise it's not going to work. 
it has to do with i don't know with the rasterized layer probably but you, you will only see this deleting layer empty to delete layer when you stop the actions previously so just keep that in mind if you are certain about the number of times you need to run the process you can actually remove some text here you see they are repetitive we are uh, creating a new layer from that step here we're creating new layer until when you generate the fill this is repeating that part just take the ticks off from that in between not at the end and not at the beginning because then it's the action not playing but there is somewhere in between it's running six time as i said so in between you can take the ticks off within these um, repeating actions so let's summarize if you want to fill a bigger space than the 1024 pixels each side um, it's not going to be high res keep that in mind so it makes sense to overwrite it by using my action in the step by step version with other words you first fill it what you want to see in one step not high res and then on top of that you run my actions just keep in mind that the layer on the top need to be layer zero or even in all how the difference is i show you on this ice picture and when we zoom in you see the difference super super well on top is the low res version and below is the original i change now you see now it's high res on top and the difference is clearly visible first low res high res so this is what you will get when you do it with steps respectively when you do it in one time so i recommend doing bigger and complex empty spaces fill with low res first and then on that you play my action then it goes very very fast did you find this tutorial helpful if so feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel it's free and it's a great way to support the work i do here